Well, it's a trip for the record books, and it comes full circle. The capsule, tasked with carrying precious cargo to and from the International Space Station, arrived back in Brevard County tonight. From a historic liftoff to docking at the ISS and then splashing down right off the Florida coast. It's been quite the ride for SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule, and its work is far from over. News 6's Troy Campbell is along the Space Coast with what's next for Crew Dragon and the future of space. NASA and SpaceX say they will spend the next four months restoring the Crew Dragon capsule in order to get it prepared for the next human space flight. Now that the capsule has arrived back here to Brevard County, they say they plan to take it apart in order to learn what they can from its mission. The Crew Dragon capsule on board SpaceX's Go Navigator ship after days at sea heading from off the coast of Pensacola back to the Cape. NASA says working alongside SpaceX, teams will remove the heat shield, the spacecraft nose cone, and also closely examining the parachutes used in the splashdown landing. Engineers say they will fully refurbish the spacecraft. Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley made the historic splashdown Sunday. Splashdown. Welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. After about two months on board the International Space Station, marking the first humans launched from American soil in nearly 10 years. One of the things that we're most proud of is, is bringing launch capability back to the Florida coast, back to America, and of course uh, landing safely at the end of all of that. Also a first, humans launching from this historic privatized spacecraft. NASA says it plans to relaunch this capsule with four astronauts on board early next year. NASA also says one of the astronauts they've picked for the next human mission is the wife of astronaut Bob Bankin. The Crew Dragon capsule is expected to have a lifespan of five to ten launches. Outside SpaceX, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6.